Hello and welcome back. We are at our oat field. When, no, Mr. Pete, don't close the header up. We need to open the harvester. Well, that didn't take long, did it? I've just started recording and I'm already trying to uh, get everything closed. Now, I have thought we are going to enable the straw swap. We're going to get every amount of straw off our field that we can. We're just going to cram every little bit of this straw that we get into the pelletizer when it's winter i'll be doing gonna do a cover crop i don't know you'll have to let me know down in the comments below should we do uh, is it a, an oil seed rape seed um cover crop for winter and then cultivate it in when we've got time or should we look at trying to get some winter wheat into the ground I don't know, but we're on $73,171 where we've got a pretty good amount of money and as you can see over there yes, we've got the John Deere now on our trailer so I'll give the, the poor Massey a break it's got over 11 hours on it so, yeah and the consensus was let's carry on with the Valley of the Old Farm too many people or should I say, too many uh, people who play. Let's just lift the header up. There we go. <clears throat> too many people go onto a map and then, you know, do a couple of seasons and then that's it. So, we're going to stay on here, but I am going to be looking at bringing also another series, another map to the channel. Is it New Park Farm or something like that? A nice, small little map. Looks pretty good. I'm in the process of setting it up. And also, I have now completely finished getting everything sorted for the realistic series. So that will be coming back here real, real soon, which is fantastic. It's took me a long time well, when I've got the chance to <clears throat> get on over there and get that done. But in this episode, like I said, we are going to try and... Well, we're not going to try. We are. We're going to keep the straw and we're going to bang every bit of straw that we get in the pelletizing system. Which is fantastic for us because at the minute I still think we've got a bit of um, hay in there so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. Fingers crossed. Should be alright. He says. Hopefully. <coughs> but we did do <coughs> a lot of harvesting well not a lot of harvesting but we harvested three of our fields in the last episode do you want another episode of harvesting probably not but it's what needs to be done there's nothing to do about it I want to show you everything that we do on the farm it's the fields we own now in real life are you just going to see a farmer do a couple of fields and then that's it and you're like hmm you know what they've got over like 600 plus acres and we've seen them do three fields like even though they only like about 14 probably 15 fields no unfortunately you tune in because you like seeing the farm equipment work that's the way it is so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna see me just farm all of our fields and i do have a smile on my face right now because I know exactly what we're going to be doing as soon as I've got this field done. And then tomorrow, actually depending on time, we might be able to head on over to our other field, which is over here, field 63, which is oats as well, which, uh, oh, that's not ready yet. Okay, it's our cornfield. Hmm. Is our corn header still over at the stall? Of course it is. Okay, well let's reset that back to the farm. I do have to buy a header for that. <clears throat> or a header trailer. Hopefully they're not too expensive. To say there is those lizard lizard trailed ones, but when I was on La Coronella, I was having so all sorts of weird issues with it. It was glitching out so I'm not entirely convinced on that one but oh, it is what it is but yes 
Mr. P actually have a plan in an episode rather than trying to wing it and figure out what we're doing when the episode's recorded. <coughs> <coughs> Which uh, makes a change. And also, I am looking with all the crops that we sell. I've noticed that there was a new sprayer that came out. It's not massive, but I think it's going to be enough for us for now for the fields we have. It is this the Lizard 2000 Plus? It's a self propelled sprayer, holds 2000 litres, which I don't think is too bad, and it has a 24 metre whip. This isn't what we're going to be looking at buying at the end of this episode. Um, but that is what I'm going to try and aim for buying at the start of next season, or in winter possibly, when we do start to sell all of our crops. I want a self-propelled sprayer. So we're going to look at trying to afford it at the minute. We've been pretty broke in pretty much every single episode. But it wouldn't be an episode of uh, farming without Mr. P being absolutely brassic. Not even having enough money to buy a toilet paper. But it is what it is. So we're going to crack on. We're going to get this field done. Uh, we've just reset the header. So the corn header back to the farm. So what I might do. So we'll get this done. We'll then head back to the farm, we'll connect the corn header, we'll get our corn field done, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. Uh, I am thinking of selling these oats straight away, but it all just depends on the price of oats right now. Uh, oats. 8.27 at uh, the plan. That's actually not that bad. So I think we might sell this trailer load of oats. Do we do we have any oats already at the farm? I'm not entirely sure. So we've got ten thousand seven hundred and forty-seven. So it might be worthwhile. We'll get this field done. We'll head back to the farm. We'll get that loaded up in the trailer as well. Um, because honestly, we don't have horses, so we're not exactly going to be needing those oats right now. We are going to be looking at possibly getting some chickens here real soon. I do want to start getting some chickens, getting some eggs. Miss P does love some eggs. Oh, really? I've got to do a row of shame. Mr. P, come on now. Right, so we've got this. Uh, back to the farm, I'm trying to work it all out in my head, then we'll do the cornfield. Hmm. Looking pretty good. I tell you what though, for how small this field is, and we're doing oats, we're getting a really, really good yield. Over 8,000 uh, litres already. Are we going to be hit about 8,700, do you think? <clears throat> Oh yeah, we're easy when we hit that. Okay, possibly about 9,000 just under. Can we get 9,000? 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, all the slowing down. Come on, don't let me down. We do have a row of shame. Can we get 9,000 litres off this small little oak field? I'll be impressed if we can. Eight, eight. Move it so we can see it. Eight, eight, nine. Oh, it's going up real slowly. Come on, give me that magical nine thousand litres. There it is. I'm happy. Like I say though, considering how small this field is, we have had a very, very good yield. And uh, thanks to the comments, you know, saying, you know, we need to slow time down a bit. We wasn't having time to spray. We wasn't, well, what should I say, fertilise, herbicide. It wasn't, wasn't really, I can't talk right now. 
that train, the Brain Fart Central Station is definitely pulled in. But like I say, you know, be, I was trying to push myself too much, constantly, constantly and constantly, just wasn't giving ourselves enough time. So let's get this unloaded. We're going to sell these oats straight away. Right, so the best place for the oats right now is 827 at Lat du Pain. Where are you? I do believe you're down here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so we're really not that far away from it. We are over here in field 73. So I will take the harvester back to the farm. <coughs> then we'll get in our beautiful little John Deere and we'll head over to there. We'll get the oats sold. And then we'll get field 91 harvested, our first cornfield. I'm really, really happy. Close this up, we'll get the header closed. So, what I'm going to do is I will get this harvester back over to the farm and I'll see you back over here and we'll head over and we'll get our oats sold. We're back in the John Deere with 9,213 litres of oats. We still do have some over at the farm. So, we're going to quickly head over there, we're going to get that picked up. Because uh, it is over 10,000 litres that we do currently have in our silo at the farm of oats. So that will give us over 19,000, possibly 20,000 litres of oats to sell. So, we'll get those oats picked up and we'll head and get the oats sold. We are back on our way to get it sold and apparently Mr P can't count. We have just under... 20,000 litres and stay on the road, Mr. P. We have 19,960 litres of oats. The price is pretty good right now, and like I said, we don't have horses, we don't really have a need, it was just bringing a source of income. So, fun times, we've just got to try and remember where we go. I think it's just at the edge of that building over there, I think. He says he thinks isn't there that is a right dodgy sell point there the frustrations I had is ridiculous with that place uh, is that the building there I think I think it is right, let's pull in here whoa Mr. P come on here we go. Now let's get somewhere where we can see the money. There we go. Now let's empty this out. Oh, the money is finally going up on the farm. $16,523. Just for that little bit of oat. That is fairly impressive I've got to say plus we do have all that wheat from this field that we still are yet to sell uh, what is the price for wheat right now 512 for wheat at the cooperative agricole uh, possibly isn't too bad uh, off screen I could possibly look at getting that carted I don't really think you want to sit there and watch me just completely just keep carting here there here there here there and everywhere <clears throat> so off you'll have to let me know do you want to see everything that I do do you want to see all the carting you will see all of the harvesting because that is part of the farming um, so if you do find it repetitive I am sorry but you know it's part of the game part of what we have to do uh, for our farm, so it is what it is. He says with uh, gritty teeth. But honestly, if you want to see everything, let me know down in the comments. Do you want to see me carting everything? Do you want to see every single thing that I do? If you do, you know I won't make any cut. Well, I'll probably make a couple of cuts 
here and there. But, you know, still do the old montage. Still, let's head back to the farm. Let's get our new corn header attached. And get some corn going through our John Deere harvester. Exciting times. I'm really looking forward to it. Should have really have slowed down there, Mr. P. But, you know, it's a game. I'm not one of those people that get angry. Unless it's in real life and you're driving and you get cut off. Not very good, is it? <clears throat> that's, uh, actually, that's the point. Just get down this little road. No traffic goes down here anyway. But I'd like to see in the new farming, uh, farming 21 when it comes out. Uh, I like to see, you know, traffic on the little roads, and like, Land Rovers, Jeep Defenders, and, is that Land Rover Defender? I, I, you know what, I just don't know. But like, the really old stuff, you know, I think, I think some of the mods that are in game should really come in the base game. Alright, well, let's have a quick look at the animals, how they're doing. Cows, alright right now, they do need a little bit of straw, a little bit of TMR. And, yep, yeah, the sheep are absolutely fine. Okay. <clears throat> okay, they're doing all right. I'm really happy. And I do love that they go under there. I mean, that is just fantastic. I'm really happy with that. Right, so let's get back in here. We'll get this trailer put away. No, we won't, because we are going to be harvesting our cornfields. What are you on about, Mr. P? Oh, apparently, Mr. P doesn't even know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing at the end of the episode, though, which is exciting. I'm really happy. There's our new corn header. You know what? I'm just going to cut through here, my field. Do what I want. There we go. Right, I'll leave this out here for now. Don't have the room really. Uh, I'll take the fence off. There we go. Let's get in the John Deere harvester. So, in real life, would you disconnect this and leave it down like that, or would you have it opened out and on a head of trailer? And would you literally just have it folded like this to transport it? I don't know, you'll have to let me know down in the comments, because I have absolutely no idea. I'm not a farmer in real life. I never claim to know everything. <clears throat> but here we go. Our first cornfield. Really, really, really exciting times. And is Mr. P going to hit his harvester into that pile of wood? Oh, don't, oh, that looks beautiful. Really impressive. And I like that the ends of this <laughs> this header, they do go down. I mean, that is really impressive. Uh, let's try and get a good camera angle, Miss P, rather than through the trees. We're not ground force. Right, so let's get these done. Down they come. Oh, that is heaven. Oh. Right, so here we go. Our first bit of corn this season. That is a really bumpy road. Let's, there we go. Open that first, Mr. P. Right, let's get it going. Here we go. First bit of corn. I wonder what the yield is going to be in this field. It is a fair size. So it's going to be I can't even come up with a round figure what I think it would be. Honestly, I don't know. But we'll get the headland done. And we can, uh, we've obviously now got room to bring the trailer in. Oh, it won't be long and those beautiful sunflowers will be ready. 
no Mr. Pete, we're not missing any. Need all the money we can get. I'm going to say, if you have played that new park farm map, uh, you'll have to let me know what did you think to it. I've just had a, a wander around as I was setting up for the, the new series that we're going to be doing alongside this one and our realistic series that now I had to remake, uh, which is done. Uh, what did you think to it? I actually really like it. It's uh, different. It's really good. Only has, I think it's like 30, 33, or something, something around that ballpark figure field. It isn't massive, but <clears throat> I really like it, so I want to say a massive thank you to the creator of the map for that one. Uh, really impressive stuff. You see, I just love the small maps. I don't like it when you need when the really big fields and small roads and narrow roads does make it pretty difficult to get the machinery around here there and everywhere but still i love the small quaint maps you know like um la coronella that was originally a small map beautiful you could do cheese and so much on that i mean that was just absolutely fantastic and have i still left that bale out there yes i have we go miss p really really need to get that bale moved in the comments section, remind me to get that bale moved out of this field. There's no doubt I will forget. I don't know how long that bale's been in that field now. Really do need to get it moved. 96%. Almost got a full harvester just from the headland. That is really, really impressive stuff. Right, let's jump out. There we go. First lot of corn. I'm really, really happy. I was, I was as you know, from the episodes, I was getting really worried that we just wouldn't have the money to get the corn header. But there it is in all of its glory looking absolutely fantastic and this tea lift it up and I'm doing the farm. Come on. God. One of these days I'll make it look like I know what I'm doing. But apparently today is not that day and neither is every other day that I've recorded an episode of farming. <coughs> oh dear, Mr P, where's your head at? There we go, that is that. Right, so what we're going to do is we will do a montage and have a look at this beautiful header in action in our cornfield, which I'm really, really excited about. Oh, fun times. And this should be the only field right now left that is in need of harvesting. I believe the next ones are going to be field 52, our sunflower field. Uh, 63 which is our wheat field and then over here we have more corn our brand new field well two brand new fields that we have over here they should be growing no nope, planted states still haven't germinated yet but our soybean over and what was our pasture that is growing nice that's going to be a good little income earner there so yeah Things are locking up for our farm. So, let's get in to the montage of this beast in action.
this is the last little piece in this cornfield. There we go. Our cornfield has been harvested, which is absolutely brilliant news. Um, the trailer is nearly full. I think it's like on 97% fill capacity, so this should... Well, actually, I don't think it will. Please say it will go all in. Yes, it will. Right, there we go. That is brilliant. I'm really happy with that. What's for the what's the price of corn right now? Uh six fifty one at the Cooperative Agricole. Where is Cooperative Agricole? Is that over here? Or is that the one right over there? No. Cooperative Agricole. Agricole, Agricole. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I think we're going to sell all of this corn right now. Uh, we are on 98%. Uh, 38,510 litres, which is fantastic. So I'll see you over at Agricole. We'll get this sold. Then I'll see you whew, at the store. Actually... We'll go, we'll get this sold, I'll show you how much we get, and then I'll see you over at the store. See you in a minute. Here we go, we're at Agricole. Let's get this corn sold. Let's try and get the price somewhere where we can see. There we go. A bit darker, there we go. So we're selling the corn bringing in some much needed money there we go we made $25,108 that is fantastic but we're now gonna head over to the store because we're gonna make a couple of purchases right so here we are what do we need we need a header trailer for our corn header and the best one I found so far is this it is the John Deere 300 if you're using a John Deere harvester this is definitely the header to get obviously we'll round up uh, about up to 9.2 meters is going to be okay because the header does once you put the header on this trailer it does not come off which I think is absolutely brilliant. So that's going to cost us 5200 There we go. We have now got a header trailer for our corn header. And yes, finally, I'm going to get my fence. Where are you, you beautiful little beast? Here it is, the Fent 4S. For a long time now, I have been wanting this thing. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes, I do. So here we go, with rotating, shoot. yes we're going to have a rotating beacon, and we'll set up, or oh, we'll have it with a big chunky R34 yield BLBs, that will do, look at this beautiful little thing, really happy, there we go, it cost us $15,125, but I've got it, I am absolutely ecstatic, I finally got the little fence. Just look at this beautiful little thing. 80 horsepower, I believe. I didn't really take any notice. Yes, it is. 80 horsepower, and it is our brand new little tractor on the farm. We've thought that our little Sammy... Sammy, same. Hmm, a little orchard tractor. That can do amazing things, so so can this. I'm sure this little fent should be able to power our cedar. 60, 80, yep. And it can do that as well. So it can plant <laughs> and it can seed. Absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely ecstatic. But oh, I'm so happy I've now got that. I've been wanting that for a long time. Oh, just look at it. It is a beautiful little thing. 
But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. The channel is growing really nicely, and I want to say a big thank you to everybody that hits the like button, takes the time to comment and subscribe. It really, really does mean a lot to me, and I never in a million years thought I would have as many subscribers as I've got right now. So, I can't show my appreciation as much as I'd like to. All I can do is say thank you, and hopefully you join me in the next one. This is the Valley of the Old Farm. And I'll see you all real soon.